सो हेलो गाइज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन क्रिप्टोग्राफी इज आर एस ए एल्गोरिदम दिस एल्गोरिदम इज मोस्ट वाइडली एक्सेप्टेड एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेड जनरल पर्पज अप्रोच टू पब्लिक की इंक्रिप्शन पब्लिक की इंक्रिप्शन मीन्स दैट वी हैव टू कीज ओके वन इज पब्लिक की एंड अनदर वन इज प्राइवेट की सो दिस एल्गोरिदम कम अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ पब्लिक की एनक्रिप्शन पब्लिक की एनक्रिप्शन ओके नाउ दिस आर एस एस स्कीम इट्स अ ब्लॉक साइफर ओके इन विच द प्लेन टेक्स्ट एंड साइफर टेक्स्ट आर इन टीजर बिटवीन जीरो एंड एन माइनस वन फॉर सम एन फॉर सम एन वट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स दैट प्लेन टेक्स्ट इज इनक्रिप्टेड इन ब्लॉक्स ओके with each block having a binary value less than some number n okay so the plain text as well as the cipher text are encrypted and decrypted in block form okay now this value n must be known to both the sender and the receiver to both the sender and the receiver okay next important part is that sender also know the value of e what is e here e is your public key okay so the sender knows the value of e and so it is known only known by the sender and the value of d d is your private key so this is your private key so only the receiver know this private key to decrypt the message okay so it is a block cipher in which plain text and cipher text uh, are encrypted or decrypted in a block this value n is must be known both sender and receiver this value the value of e that is means uh, public key is only known to the sender and the value of d which is a private key is only known to the receiver okay now there is a uh, step by step procedure for this algorithm so first of all we will explain that algorithm and then we take example uh, that how the algorithm works so the algorithm consists of mainly three parts one is key generation another one is encryption and third one is your decryption so in the key generation process the first step is that we have to select p and q what is p and q p and q are both prime numbers as well as p is not equal to q so if i implement this rs algorithm in a uh, programming terms q whether their number are prime or not for to test this that we have an algorithm that is called miller rabin algorithm so we already discussed that how this miller rabin algorithm works okay so the first step is that we have to select two prime numbers p and q such that that p is not equal to q now the second step is that we have to calculate n which is equals to p into q okay so this value of n must known to both sender and receiver okay now the third step is that we have to calculate phi of n what is phi of n phi of n is euler totient function euler totient function so as you already know how we calculate this euler totient function so phi of n is p minus 1 into q minus 1 why because p and q both are prime numbers and we already know that for finding the euler totient function if we have both prime numbers then we can directly write it as p minus 1 into q minus 1 now after calculating phi of n then the next step is that we have to select integer e what is e here e is your public key okay e is your public key so to select this integer e or the value of e in such a way that Uh, is not a factor of p minus one and q minus one, or we can say that it is not a factor of phi of n. Be- uh, how we will test it? That we the GCD of phi of n comma e is equals to one. This means that it is not a factor of phi of n. So we have to select in such a way, or we can uh, say that e must be uh, in between of one and phi of n. So after selecting this integer e means public key which is known to the sender, then with the help of this e. now we calculate d what is d d is your private key which is only known to the receiver 
So to calculate this d, the formula is the d is congruent to e inverse mod phi n. So e inverse mod phi n is multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse. So we already discussed that to find out the inverse of a uh, number that is u mod v, we can represent it as u inverse mod v. So we have an algorithm to calculate this. So that algorithm is called extended Euclidean algorithm extended Euclidean algorithm. But in the numerical part, we will calculate uh, the value of d in some other different manner. This is implemented if you, uh, if you write a program for the RS algorithm, then to calculate the value of d, then you can use extended Euclidean algorithm. Now after cal cal calculating the value of d, we have a two key pair. One is your public key pair and another one is your private key pair. The public key pair can be denoted as e comma n and the private key pair is denoted as d comma n. So if we have a public key and private key, so this pair, public key pair is only known to the sender. So with the help of this pair, the sender can encrypt the plain text and the, the key private key pair is d comma n which is only known to the receiver. So with the help of this key pair, the receiver can decrypt the cipher text. So to encrypt the uh, plain text, we will represent it the plain text as capital M which is less than n, this number n and to uh, convert it into the cipher text, the cipher text will be uh, calculated as c is equals to m to the power e where e is your public key. So public key is used to encrypt the data. Okay. And similarly for the decryption, we have a cipher text can be represented as C, then the plain text for the corresponding plain text will be calculated as C to the power D, D is your private key. So private key is used for the decryption part. Okay. So M equals to C into D mod N. So this is your three step procedure for the RS algorithm. First is your key generation, another one is your encryption and third one is your decryption. Okay. So now we take one example to implement this algorithm in step by step procedure. Okay, so the first step is, this is your example, okay. So the first step is that we have to select two prime numbers P and Q. So suppose if I uh, take P is equals to 7 and Q is equals to 17, so these two numbers are prime numbers as well as the condition will also satisfy that P is not equal to Q. Okay, so to test whether this number is prime or not, we have an algorithm that is your miller rebin algorithm. Now uh, the second step is that we have to calculate n which is equals to p into q. So if I multiply 7 into 17, then it comes out to be 119. So this is your second step. Now the third step is that we have to calculate phi of n. What is phi of n? Phi of n is your unit ocean function. So which is uh, can be calculated as p minus 1 into q minus 1. So it comes out to be 7 minus 1 into 17 minus 1 and it comes out to be 6 into 16 which is equals to 96. So phi of n is 96 here. Now the step 4 is that we have to select an integer e or we can say public key or as well as you can say this is your encryption key encryption key in such a way that it is not a that the value of e is not a factor of this phi of n. So this means that if I calculate the factor of 96 then it comes out to be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. This means that the value of e or we have to choose e such that that none of the factor of e is 2 as well as 3. So let us choose uh, or we can select uh, e equals to this e equals to 5 here because 5 is not a factor of 2 as well as 3. So this is your uh, public key. So we can say the public key pair will be written as e comma n or we can say it can be represented as 5 comma 119. So this key pair which is called public key pair can be used by the sender to encrypt a message. Okay. Now, after that, the next step is we have to calculate the value of D. What is D? D is your private key as well as your decryption key. Decryption key. 
Now D can be calculated as D is congruent to E inverse mod phi of L. Okay. Now what does it mean or how we can calculate the value of D in numerical form? So can we write this uh, equation in like this? This means that D into E is equal to 1 mod phi n. Okay. Now if I substitute the value of E as well as phi n, so it becomes D into 5 is congruent to 1 mod 96. Or if I divide D into 5 with 96, then I will result with the remainder as 1. Okay. Or we can write it as the D into 5 mod 96 is equal to 1. Means if I divide 96 to, uh, with D into 5, then the remainder will be 1. So how we will calculate the value of this D? So see here, this means if I divide D into 5 with 96, then we have some quotient N and the remainder will be 1. This means like this, say for 96 divided by uh, D into 5 with some quotient N, then the remainder, this is your remainder, then the remainder will be 1. So with the help of this N, now we can calculate the value of D. So this means that D into 5 is equal to 1 plus 96 into your quotient. So if I multiply 96 into N and plus this remainder, then this whole value is equal to D into 5. Now or we can calculate the value of N in such a way directly or we can say at least completely divisible by 5. So suppose if I put N equals to 1 here, so 96 into 1 that is 96 plus 197. So it, it is not completely divisible by 5. Uh, we cannot put N equals to 1 here. But if I put N equals to 4 here, see? 1 plus 96 into 4, then it comes out to be 1 plus 384 and it is equal to 385. Now we can calculate the value of D because 5 is, uh, 385 is completely divisible by 5. So 385 divided by 5 and it comes out to be 77. So the, the private key pair is equal to D comma N or we can write it as 77 comma 119. So this is your private key pair and this is how we calculate the value of D. Now this private key pair is uh, used by uh, receiver side to decrypt the message. Now with this public key pair and the private key pair, the next step is that we have to encrypt the message, plain text message and to get the corresponding cipher text. Okay. So how we will use this public key pair? So with the help of public key pair which is equals to uh, 5 comma 119. Now, Second step is for the encryption part, okay. So if I uh, denote the plain text capital M as uh, uh, if I take M equals to 10 here, now to calculate the corresponding cipher text, then we can write it as M to the power E mod N. Now if I substitute the value of E that is 5 mod 119, so this it comes out to be 5 times uh, 0 mod 119, then the answer will be 40 here. So the cipher for the corresponding m equal to 10, the cipher text will be 40. Okay, so this is how we use the public key pair for encrypting the message. Similarly, with the help of private key pair that is 77 comma 119, now we can uh, decrypt this same message that is 40 into the plain text that is 10. So how we, we will do that? So to decrypt the message or for the decryption part, it can, the ciphertext will be represented as C which is equals to 40. Now the plain uh, formula for M is C to the power D mod N. So this comes out to be 40 to power 77 mod 119 and if you calculate this on your calculator then you can get a value of 10 which is equal to the plain text. Okay, so this is how we can use uh, the RSA algorithm for a public key encryption with this step by step procedure. Okay, so if you have any query, then you can ask in our comment section. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.